so I'm earning my boot to awesome designs. My boots are awesome, given I did fall over in them. And I've got my tights. But yeah, I'm here at uni. I'm the only one in the class. classroom looks like literally no one is here i am half an hour early but i'd rather be early than late because boy i can't walk in on a class i hope what you get from seeing these videos is the film degree has so many different aspects to it it is easy not gonna lie it's not rocket science nor have i ever made it out to be it is picking up a camera and making something with it but you also meet people sometimes crushes i have a crush i'm a girl or something we tend to mix them up so special effects and again you have all the assistants model maker special effects Things. But it can be really, if you think about it, suddenly say red is actually cold or warm. It's all up to you, and that's the beauty of what I'm trying to design. I want you to do your own research on color theory because we could do a one week class on this. Just know that in general, it is because we all perceive color differently, which is why. And this morning class was also completely different. It's really important that you discuss with your group and any future collaborator which color tone you actually talk about. If I speak of pink now, it could be completely pink, a uh, different pink, excuse me, that you may picture. It. Yeah, like the blue. If I speak of the color blue, I could be picturing the blue of Lake Geneva, just because that's a color. Very person to me. You might be thinking of a very off blue, a dark blue that represents an emotion that might match a character. So there is a vocabulary that you can use. The hue really defines what you color. Blue, green, anything on the color wheel. The chroma describes whether there is more white or black in it. The saturation. Do you know what that means? You just have to face the colors. So. Consistent with the double count of the story for the world. It's like, yeah, as an audience, you kind of feel like you start thinking about the thing instead of thinking about the story. That's really good, actually. So to not distract. And add to that, to always also remain consistent. If something is just because it looks good. Take it out so you stay on the So, word building, what else would you like good set dressing to do? As production is on the record, is it? Hey, what's with you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a crazy one today. We're doing group work and I'm literally being left out. I'll let you see me up here.
The next station is Acton Town. Change for the Piccadilly line, including services to Heathrow. Find the gap between we trying to become a billionaire, but then by the end of the movie, for because of his or their religious beliefs, they can't do it. Okay? And they can't achieve the goal. This would be an art of dissolution. It wouldn't be an art of dissolution if you had a, a character and trying to achieve a goal and an antagonist, and eventually it is because of the antagonist that the character cannot achieve the goal. Because this. this uh, one example of an art of dissolution is this movie Hamlet. Uh, Because uh, it's, a, it's a movie that, it's so, it's such a simple movie, in a way. So now, the next type of ending, the next type of ending is the coming of age. The coming of age ending is always same. A character who was immature or very young in the beginning, and then made your movie in the past time you by necessity you have to modernize your characters you have to make your color characters modern and you cannot reflect the characters the way they would have been had they lived in that time because we wouldn't like them not only we would like, we would understand them. It would be impossible for us, as an audience, to empathize with those people. Okay? So, when you are doing world building, when you're building a world in another century, in the past, you are not recreating exactly the way the past was. You write your screenplay and then you erase the names of the characters and someone else reads the script and they should guess who is saying what. Most in the house. <laughs> okay. Let me make it bigger. So, Ghost in the House, who, who wants to read it? Oh! Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. God, I've waited so long to say that. What's going on you lot? Welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been very active today in talking to you. It's because I was on time for my lecture and it wasn't early. So I didn't have the earliness to talk to you. I got left out in a group today. Which felt horrible. So I was sat there waiting to contribute and they just wouldn't let me join in so i ended up sitting on twitter because what else is, is there to do i'm gonna order some food now and then i'm gonna go to bed because of why I haven't done a lot at uni, I still have to travel and I am exhausted. Thanks for being an amazingly supportive community of wonderful people. I honestly don't know if I'd get through things if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.